Hey everybody, it's Walter with Florida Services of Tampa. Everybody asks me why don't I turn my camera around and kind of show my face. It's not that I'm ugly or anything. It's just that I, if I do, my phone turns off. It doesn't want to do that. But needless to say, we're in a property. We are in Holiday, Florida. This was a house that we got from a carrier that we do a lot of insurance work with. This is a smaller home. It's a two bedroom turned to a three bedroom, one bath property. It started out where the kitchen sink had an issue, it was leaking. There was laminate floor in the dining area and it was damaged and there was water, extensive damage up the walls, roughly about three feet. We met with the insurance adjuster here on site. The insurance adjuster approved us to go ahead and cut four feet drywall through the property. And um, while we were here, the property owner decided he wanted to make some changes. So this is a video, <clears throat> excuse me, this is a video showing some of the changes we made and the finished product. Um, obviously standing in the living room on the living room door that's the original existing door uh, we did upon final painting is replace all the trim we did a larger more upgraded trim for what he had this door uh, all the white was in pretty bad shape so we went ahead and cleaned up all the all the wood and, rep and repainted everything there in the living room area this particular wall here actually used to extend way out to here so what we did was we removed all of this to open this area up to reveal the kitchen. And if you can see with the thermostats on the wall, that used to be a pantry facing this way. Well, it was kind of a bad design. So we took all that out, reframed it, turned it the other way. So when you go into the kitchen, and as you come around on this side, you'll see the pantry now faces the kitchen like it should. Um, obviously the homeowner did a bunch of upgrades in this house. This is a rental property that he wants to sell, but he figured while we were here, we'd go ahead and fix it. Some of the things we did was obviously put in the tile floor. He did not have tile there before. He had laminate there and laminate in the dining room, and the rest of the floors were just terrazzo. He wanted to cover them all with a nice laminate wood. Um, this customer actually allowed me to go and pick out everything for him. We picked out all the paint colors, all the trim colors, the floor colors, everything, the cabinets, the countertops, you name it, we picked it. So. Obviously, I wanted to do a taller baseboard, so we did a three and a half inch baseboard. We refinished all the doors, painted all the doors. The walls, we did a two-tone paint. If you can tell this, this wall here is a darker brown, and this one here is a lighter brown. And we did it because it's neutral color, so it'll go with anybody's furniture that moves in this property. In the, well, this was the garage. The only thing we did in this room was clean and paint and fix the trim. He had a bunch of ceiling spots, like right next to the lamp light here, it was falling down. Somebody did a pre-existing repair here, it was horrible. So we tore it all out, fixed it, and retextured the whole room, and now it looks like a regular room. And obviously put up new lights, we put up new uh, um, vents, and again, repaired all the trim and repainted it. In the kitchen, we went back with a nice oak cabinet. As you can tell, it looks beautiful. Our cabinet guy did a great job on this. We went back with a really nice countertop. This is much better than what he currently had before. Same with the sink. We have a really nice sink that we stuck in. Um, he hasn't seen the property yet. He did a walkthrough, I think two weeks ago. He was real happy with it, but I'm supposed to meet him tomorrow at noon to go over the rest of this, but we did new faucets. Plumbers came out, everything's all hooked up and working. Um, we did a new hood vent. He's supplying his own stove, he's got a white stove, so we did a white hood vent and we did a white backsplash to kind of tie things in. So that'll look really good when it's done. Obviously it's a small home with a small kitchen, but as you can tell, it turned out really nice. So whoever buys this property from him, or if he decides to re-rent it, should be quite happy with it. So it looks, looks fantastic, but obviously since this area is open now, it just gives you so much more room and so much more eye space when you look around you see so much better it's so nice the i would assume this is the master bedroom they're pretty much the same so you could make one the master bedroom or whatever but again in here we did all new baseboard replaced all the lower half of the drywall repaired all the ceilings we put in all new light fixtures took care of all of these doors all these doors were in bad shape they're all original really old um, he has nice cedar closets in here and they turned out really really nice last bedroom over here kind of the same thing how oh, I got here to do my final walkthrough somebody brought a bunch of 
uh, I guess some new fixtures they're going to put in themselves, tables and stuff. So maybe he's already rented it, but he got a bunch of the stuff there going to install themselves. And of course, another cedar closet. Now these rooms back here are more of a lighter brown or cream, but as you can tell, they look really, really good. They turn out fantastic. And uh, all the old vents, they were in such bad condition. They were just old. And I think this house was built in the 70s. <clears throat> in the bathroom. Now, the bathroom had a plastic shower, a plastic surround over top of an old tub. It looked really bad. So he really wanted to take that out and fix it. So what we did, we pretty much got at the bathroom. We pulled it all out. He did not have a tile floor before. We went ahead and gave him a tile floor to match the kitchen. We gave a nice oak vanity to match the kitchen. We gave new sinks, new countertops. We put a new mirror. We put new light fixture up on the wall. Uh, we did not take out the soffit because usually there's electric in it and I can usually add one to the bill and he, he didn't want to go that deep in his pockets. But we replaced the shower, put up all new tile. We had a new tub installed. We did a new shower valve, um, a nice corner um, shelf so that he can put shampoos and stuff on. We opened the window so it gives him light. We wrapped the window in tile. So that turned out really nice. And of course, we put a nice toilet in. This is a power flush toilet. So whenever you hit it, everything goes down. No problems, no issues. So this is one of those really nice jobs over in Holiday that turned out really nice. And I'm excited for him to get here tomorrow and actually see the finished product. I'll probably share this link with him and let him look at it. But the gentleman we're working for is extremely nice, very easy, very laid back to work with. This project took approximately 60 days to complete. It took a little longer because there was insurance involved. But the insurance adjuster has seen the house. She loves the way it looks. My guys did a fantastic job. They liked the design, the colors, everything just flows. This is a very, very nice home. All right, thanks for watching.